So the atmosphere building steadily here in the Cardiff International Arena ahead of the big world title fight, Joseph Cordina against Shavkat Rakimov. And here's Zelfa Barrett, the man who was beaten by Rakimov for that title in Abu Dhabi last November, looking to get back on the winning trail. Barrett was scheduled here to face Alex Dilmagani until Dilmagani withdrew because of illness, and so it's Jason Sanchez from Albuquerque in New Mexico, former world title challenger down at featherweight, who makes up the opposition. And there has been a few people get on to me this week. Um, Jason Sanchez, by all accounts, is a lively opponent. He's only lost against good opposition, good competition, so Roselfa needs to be switched on here from the first bell. Yeah, he's a good fighter, Jason Sanchez, from what I've seen. But nice away guard, his game, he's tough, he's rugged. He can be caught with clean shots, a nice jab, sharp jab from Zelfa Barrett there. But he comes to fight. See that against Valdez. So he's gonna have to be switched on Zelfa. He's gonna have to bring his A game. This isn't a walk on the park, certainly not on paper. Moving nicely though, Zelfa just yeah. spearing out that jab, so sharp. When he keeps his little steps going, while he keeps his feet um, adjusting, he's making Sanchez um, readjust to his adjustment. And in that time is when he can pick a little jab, can use the space in the ring that he's just created for himself. Is when he starts holding his feet, like we saw in the Rackamore fight, and really, really trying to dig down, is when the openers seem to come. He's a very good mover, Zelfa. Yeah, I've seen Sanchez in the past as well, and I've never seen him this sort of... It's quite dominant on the front foot, but pressing on the front foot. Now maybe I wonder if he's watched the Rackamore fight and thought, you know, I'm going to put Zelfa under the same sort of pressure and hope that Zelfa wilts late. But that was a lovely left hook on the back foot from Zelfa, but good positive work from Sanchez coming forward. Yeah, Sanchez definitely trying to um, impose his physical threat, but at the same time, um, fitness is good for Zelfa. He wants his opponent coming over the front foot. We know his danger shots. It's the right uppercut, it's the left hook. He carries a lot of power and a lot of speed. If he can blind Sanchez coming in with his head down that, that's money for me. And if Zelfa keeps boxing like this, it looks really as when he's going to land the clean shot and how it goes from there. Because for me right now, he's in control of the action, not completely dominating by any stretch of imagination. But just that little one shot ahead, two shots ahead, three shots ahead. And you could do that for 12 rounds. Got a bit more positioning in the ring as well, though. As I say, that he's getting pushed back, but he's starting to navigate himself back to the centre of the ring as he gets pushed back. Sanchez has to keep applying that pressure. Good block. Yeah, it was a good block. Two right uppercuts from Sanchez. Taking on the guard, working away at the body. This is better from Jason Sanchez, trying to rough up Zelfa Barrett. Doesn't need to be on those ropes. But I think what Zelfa's done now, I think he felt the shots coming in when he was riding them, and I think he felt OK with them. So he weren't really trying to open up or throw back. Look, he was letting him work a little bit, getting his rhythm, and he just landed the clean shot and the best shot in the fight so far. Good work from Zelfa there. Terrific right uppercut. The kind of shot that floored Shavkat Rakimov in their world title fight back in November. Now a right hand from Barrett, and definitely the punches of Barrett carry more pop here, no question about it. He's really getting to a nice rhythm here, Zelfa. Moving and, nicely. And taking he, the range away, isn't he, Sonny? And landing good counters. Yeah, and I'd like to see him stay composed and keep relaxed. Rakamov, he had big success early, hurt him. And for me, he burnt his energy way too fast and way too quick. And that's what happened in that fight for me personally. I would like to see him learn from that here, take the big shots and then move. So how can Zelfa Barrett build now on a very impressive second round? Landing hurtfully a number of times, but still Sanchez right to the end of the round, touring forward, as he's doing here now at the start of the third. Yeah, I think it's more of the same. I think it's keep frustrating, keep outscoring Sanchez and make him have to commit and have to change the hour. He has to load up and then that's when you can really start targeting the big shots back yourself. And that's what I'd like to see. I don't want to see it, like I said before, I don't want to see Zelfa get carried away with his power. But he did that last time. I'd like to see him learn from it. I think changing up the angles of the shots there from Zelfa. Very, very successful. Good coming over the right hand. Over the top of that jab, lovely. And then firing back with a jab. Oh, it's that right Ooh, up. Got lovely his shot. Legs. His legs have gone. He's Terrific a good finisher. Zelfa's a good finisher. And now Barrett has to just compose himself. Sanchez smothers him well, though, there. Still legs all over the place. Zelfa's stalking him. 
And still the best part of two minutes to go in the round. But again, now okay, that, that big shot didn't, didn't count, didn't put him down right now. I'd like to even go, go back to what got him there. I'd like to see go back to the, the fundamentals of what got him there rather than chasing the next big shot. This would be a huge statement if he was to stop Sanchez. It really would when you think of who Sanchez has been in with. This is a very, very big round for Barrett, this third round, showing us how sharp he is, but how powerful he is, how accurate he is, lovely left to the body, showing us a bit of everything right now as well for Barrett. Yeah, lovely little step to the left with the body shot, created a lovely little angle, and the opening was there. He has a very high guard, Sanchez. He has a very high guard. And he's feeling them shots, Sanchez. You can see the big little nod shots. of approval. You big can see the shots. nod of approval. And the problem with Zelfa, he gets their hands there fast. There's very few people at his weight that get their, their punt from their shoulder to the target and back as quickly as him. And that's where the power is generated. As the muscle contracts and relaxes, that's when the power is generated. Good body shot. Good try by Zelfa Barrett. Just slipped the jab and whipped in the uppercut. Didn't quite land. He's got to close that guard up. Sanchez. Bit too wide at the minute, and that's why Zelf is finding that right uppercut every single time he throws it. Got to tighten the guard up, Sanchez. Here into round five, and we're beginning to see the full repertoire of the skill set of Zelfa Barra. Brilliant work, beautiful to watch across the second, third, and in particular the fourth rounds. Landing at Will Zelfa now. Everything he throws is catching Sanchez with. Bravely coming forward, Sanchez. It really is tough because he shifted a lot of punishment, but he's still in there. He's still trying, still trying to creep forward, but he's got to. I mean, this is better balance. He's been falling over that front foot far too much, and that's why Zelfa, along with the fact that his guard is wide open, but that's why Zelfa's been able to find that right uppercut. And I'm liking how Zelf has gone through the phases of defence. He's moving his feet when he's catching up with him, he's closing his shot, he's going around him. He's not just sticking to, you know, one way, one method of defending or, or you know, solving the problem that Sanchez is putting in front of him. He really is using all of his assets. Oh, right hand, huge oh, shot! Yes. shot. And, and it's over. Sanchez Surely. for the first time. Oh, he's gone down again. Referee Howard Foster will continue with Wait the minute. count. His legs are all over the place. Sanchez decided to go down twice. Half the round still remaining now. His legs, you can see how heavy his legs are. Barrett goes for that big right hand once again, then switches the attack to the body. Huge punching from Zelfa Barrett. Landing at will here. Sanchez still doing a fairly good job, but just covering up just a mark. This time he's patient, he's not smothering his work, Zelfa. Looking for that right uppercut again. Been beaten three times, Jason Sanchez, but never been stopped. Went the full championship distance with Oscar Valdez and has been 10 rounds a couple of times as well. Good work from Sanchez, working the body, trying to slow down the feet, the movement of Zelfa Barrett. You do that by working the body. Oh, lovely left hook. Beautifully timed. Just as Pat Barrett suggested in the corner would work. Wait for Sanchez to unleash and then time the counter shots. I don't think Zelfa Miners having to ride a few shots, a bit of energy from Sanchez, because he knows when he comes out, the payback's double on the other side. This really is a game effort from Sanchez, ploughing forward and making Zelfa move an awful lot, He's letting shots go, but when he does let his own shots go, that difference in speed is allowing Zelfa to, to land his own check hooks and counter shots. But credit to Sanchez, he really, really is having a go in this round. And as you know, it is really hard to stay so focused and determined with that mission of going forward when we can see the evidence of the big shots. He's been put down, he's been hurt, he's been rocked a couple of times, but he's still applying that same sort of ethos. I don't know if it's brave or stupid. It's just a massive will to win, I think the desire to to win, you can see this is his life, this is what he lives for. But at some point, you have to roll the dice. At some point, you have to do something different. Missing with that left hook again. And let the record show that Zelfa Barrett can hit, and he can hit hard. 
how Sanchez is taking these clean shots as regularly as he's taking them is beyond me. Look, as much as Zelfa would have loved to have got the stoppage here, look, I don't think you can fault him for, for the way he's fought at all. He's fought beautifully, he really, really has. It's just been the, the braveness and the toughness of Sanchez that has kept him in there, kept him going, kept him on the front foot like he is now. But throwing, he's... still trying to trying to win this fight at the late stages of the contest. Huge respect to Sanchez. But it's this discipline, it's these fundamentals, it's always giving yourself the best chance in every exchange. This is what's going to make Zelfa Barrett a world champion or not. It's not switching off when you've had a bit of success and now think the person should be in your ring with you. It's not getting complacent at the worst times. Much, much, much more mature and much better performance than I've probably ever seen Zelfa. But I'm very, very impressed with his performance today against a good fighter as well. And with that in mind, another precious experience then for Zelfa Barron as he pushes for another world title shot. Was going so well for so long against Jakob Rakimov and now returns with an exemplary performance here. As he smiles and sees the last 10 out. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here in Cardiff, Wales, we go to the judges' score totals. Pavel Cardini, 116-111. Salvador Salva, 118-110. Phil Edwards, 119-108. All three. Your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBA Continental Super Featherweight Champion, Zelfa Brown Flash Barrett.